down. Mega. 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 Great. Cobb. What's important about this? No. Zach. What's important about this? Letting him free. Letting him free. Let him get distracted, whether it's another dog, whether it's a person, whether it's a scent, whatever it is. He hasn't had practice with being this distracted and, well, I don't know if he's had practice, but what I'm saying is he's not very good at getting distracted and then giving a command and, and just dropping everything and coming. So I'm giving him learning opportunities here. I'm going to let him get distracted and then I'm going to recall him and I'm going to put him into a sit. And if he doesn't come within a reasonable amount of time, which for me is a second, then he gets corrected. If he messes up anywhere on his way to me, then he gets corrected. What he's gonna learn on this session is you have your freedom, but as soon as I give a command, it's work time and you need to drop everything you're doing with a, with a, within a millisecond and get to work. This is what he needs to learn. And if we don't ever let him interact with other dogs, guess what? He's never gonna learn how to, he's never going to learn the difference between having time, there's a time and a place. He's never gonna learn that that's for play and this is for work. And that when I say, no, you can't do it. He's gonna be more anxious if he never gets to meet them because he's always gonna wonder. He's always going to, to see it as this big deal. All right? I want him to get blase about this stuff. I want him to feel like, ah, it's just a dog, no big deal. So he's under experience for three for sure. I mean, under exposed, you know, to like the world. Cup. Good boy. There's a correction. Cub, what do you think he just did there? And it's, and it's something I don't see often. Cub, see how bad this is? Zet. I said come and he said, I gotta get a quick pee in. That's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. That's what it creates when you start making pee this big deal. Now he thinks it's a big deal. But gotta get it in quick, because I might never, I might not be able to pee again for 12 hours. So, yeah, let's just let that go. No. Break, I mean free. Okay, so this is the beginning of the session. By the end of the session, we should be seeing a lot better response from him. Cub. Good boy. Just, uh, just, just for good measure to make sure he's listening. Mixing it up a little bit. Plot. Bring it to calmness. Three. Keeping it pretty easy. For me right now. Job. And he's a working line, so that does make him different. But what I'm trying to say is, he's just like any other family dog that comes in here that just doesn't want to listen and just wants to go have fun. But over the course of doing this, 
type of work, we see that the dogs are more than happy. Now, that, that to work for us because they understand that there's a time and a place for work and play and that they will indeed get their time, their freedom, um, and it becomes less of a big deal. So, let's watch this guy transform. Clock. Izzy, go get it. Go get it. Izzy, go get it. Izzy, go get it. Izzy. No. Izzy. Flop. No. Yeah. They got the same release word. Flop. Every time I want him to be able to bounce a lot. I need your help. Okay, we're going. Go. Izzy. Izzy, 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 Izzy. Izzy. Go, 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 go. Izzy. So the conversation's good. He understands what the ecologist means right now. He understands that he needs to put his chin back down. So we should be able to have him playing with her and then turn it off, right? And then say, okay, you can go to play again. And then you'll see the energy shift. Free. Okay, now, now, he's, ready to, now he's ready to go. So it's literally an on and off switch. Woo, start to help him. All right, let's go for a hike. You guys ever have the uh, expression, you can't, you can't have your cake and eat it too? It's true. This guy has been taught to walk ahead of his owner. And with a guy who has the issues that he has, it's just going to continue to further deepen the problems of him disengaging. He needs to be focusing on me, period. Uh, he, he's definitely not mature enough or well-trained enough or educated and experienced enough to be leading a human at this point. Good stuff. Top. Good boy. That's very nice. Sick. So remember, as soon as I give a command, it's work. All right? He doesn't need a vest to know that he's working. Okay? Not that you can't use one. I'm just saying it's not necessary for, for, to, to make your dog understand the difference between work and play. Let me do your stuff. Just so everybody knows. This is how Julie dressed me. <laughs> I don't like the Orioles, I don't even watch baseball. And scarves? Let's not get out about scarves. Flop. Get in there, 
buddy. Boost. It's that initial. As soon as he gets a command, his biggest issue is, is his state of mind is usually a little too aroused. So you want to get in the habit of, if I say foos and he comes to me and he's just a little, it's just one correction, calm him down and continue. Okay? And that's what I did. Good boy, bud. Zets. Great. Kitty, 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 kitty. Ricky, 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 Ricky. Easy, easy, easy. Ricky, Ricky. Ricky blowing daddy off. Ricky.